Rossi Europe has differentiated itself as an industry leader over the past 40 years from other river cruise lines by constantly introducing guests to new destinations, by creating a fleet that goes against the trends of today's shipbuilding styles. My grandfather started like 40 years ago with a restaurant on the Rhine River next to Strasbourg city. The restaurant was very nice, crowded during the weekend, but lack of people during the week, so he had the idea to bring the people on the ship. And the people were so happy to sail a bit on the Rhine. He bought a first one, a second one, then a third one, and then he started to build his own ships. So then he kept on developing the company, opening new rivers, opening new places, new destinations. And then he gave the key to his children, so my father, his two brothers and his sister, who took care of the company for the last uh, 20 years. And now we are the third generation uh, getting involved into the business. So it's still a family-run company and we now have a fleet of 50 ships sailing on all the European rivers, as well as in Asia and Africa and much more coming in the future. In 2015, Crossy Europe introduced their first paddle wheel powered riverboat, the MS Loire Princess, and with it made France's longest river accessible to its first overnight cruise ship. The Loire is so complicated, the level of the water is always changing. In a few hours you can have a completely different environment you need to sail on, so without the technology we will never have been able to set a ship on the Loire basically years of R&D coming actually from my father with the idea of uh, building a flat bottom ship with light fabrics for the Loire River and then he'd been to a Saint Nazaire shipyard talk with uh, all the engineers and everything and all together they thought about that and brainstormed for years and months and, uh, and finally this ship is a lot of different technologies gathered all together to come to their results particularly here on the Loire because of the river characteristics. But then the technology in general helps the industry to keep on developing the ships, having good standards, good products with great services. A second paddle wheel boat joined the fleet in 2016, making it possible to cruise from Berlin to Prague. Everybody's promoting cruises in the heart of Prague, but actually no one except us is docking in the heart of Prague because of the shallow water. We now have the skills to build such kind of ships, and that's the reason why we christened last year a second paddle wheel ship with the paddle wheels on the back because of the locks on the Elbe River, and the ship is sailing between the heart of Berlin to the heart of Prague with no problem on the shallow water of the Elbe. With stylish interiors featuring Mission Home textiles, Across Europe's fleet emphasizes a boutique cruising experience on its ships that max out at 180 passengers on riverboats and 24 passengers on the barges. Basically, with us, we decided to downsize our ships. Contrary to some other lines, uh, we want a more authentic experience, a more uh, boutique experience with only 96 guests and some others 80. And uh, with uh, French food, which is part of the Maître Cuisinier de France, which is a very exclusive association that gathered only the best cookers worldwide. So we have all the different departments integrated. So we have a total control of all the costs. It can propose very affordable prices with a familial and authentic experience on board ships where you will meet people coming from all around the world and very international experience.